This week on Zooborns Australia. Zookeepers must use extreme precaution. This just keeps ourselves safe and also keeps the porcupine safe as well. To treat two baby porcupines. Hey porcupine. Over in the African savanna, the zoo's two African caped porcupines have made quite a love match since both arriving in Perth. Less than four months after being introduced, the female Noko and the male Missouri have welcomed two tiny porky pets, which are the first of their species to be born at the Perth Zoo. Luckily for mom Noko, the porky pet's distinctive quills are soft during birth and will not become sharp for several hours. One month later, the porcupets are beginning to spend more time outside of the nest box, much to the delight of zookeepers and visitors alike. I think the most interesting thing about the Cape porcupines and probably the most distinctive thing about them is definitely those quills. A lot of people come and stop at the enclosure just to try and get a glimpse of those quills. They're a very, very impressive feature. The Cape porcupine is the largest rodent in Africa. Its long black and white quills protect it from predators. And also prove a challenge for zookeepers as they have never worked with this specific breed of porcupine before. We're about to go in and see our porcupine and do a bit of a training session with them. Before we do that though, we need to find out whereabouts they are in the enclosure. Uh, just for safety, uh, just in case they've come out and they're hiding around a little rock or behind a bush, we don't want to go in there and startle them or potentially injure ourselves. So, always go into one of our shields. This just keeps ourselves safe and also keeps the porcupine safe as well. We don't want to risk any damage to them or their quills. So we'll go through, we always talk to them, just let them know that we're here. Hey Noko! Hey Missouri, got one of our little porky pets in the centre there and the other one's just at the back corner. So we just look to make sure that they're in good physical health um, and just make sure that they're all in here. Alright, you guys gonna come out for some breakfast? No. Hey Noko. It's breakfast time, come on. Two weeks later, Perth veterinarians are giving the porcu pets their first checkup. Look at those little teeth. Oh, no. The game's quite good. Do you want to have a look and maybe see if the beach will yeah. go down? Yeah. Oh, well, hang on, yeah. please get him on. And like zookeepers, must go to great lengths to protect themselves from the baby's distinctive quills. Not only must staff handle the porcu pets with gloves, but they must put them under anesthesia in order to fully examine them. The time they spend under anesthesia is closely monitored. Vets must keep a close eye on the porcupet's breathing and heart rate during the entire exam, or there could be potentially fatal consequences. They grow Aww. differently from yeah. the others. They grow like a hollow tube, and then when they when they rattle them, yeah, they make, they make a noise. After a full exam, both porcupets safely out of anesthesia are given a clean bill of health. They may now return to their doting parents back in the African savanna exhibit. Love what you see with baby African Cape porcupines? Vote for your favorite zooborn of the season and we'll donate 3,000 US dollars towards conservation efforts for the winning species. Next week on Zooborns Australia, a meerkat kit makes international news. A baby meerkat believed to have been stolen from the Perth Zoo has been recovered by police. Sending shockwaves through the pack and the zoo. 